Nidhi Karana works in Delhi, often on large-scale textiles and carpets. Lately, she has found herself in fabric dyeing, taking onion skins or pomegranate seeds or leaves she finds on a hike and turning them into a pigment. Much of this was inspired by a recent residency. I went to Mexico recently to a place called Oaxaca and um, well, it's, uh, I realized that they have a very rich tradition of natural dyes similar to India. While I'm dyeing the fabric, I'm just focused on, on dyeing it, like how to, I'm like, when I'm experimenting, let's say when I'm, uh, when I'm using the, a particular color for the first time, like I had tried onion skins recently, and of course I've read about it, how it gives color, but when you actually put the cloth in it, and the cloth turns a particular color, it's, it's, it's more of a feeling oriented process than, uh, than a thinking process for me, because I'm interacting more with the color the intensity and what I can do with this color once it comes out rather than the chemical process. I know a lot of people who approach uh, this thing of dyeing. Of course, it, it is a chemical process. No, it's a lot of chemistry. Since visiting Mexico, she has worked a great deal with cochineal, an insect that produces a red dye when dried. She has assembled these experiments in color on her wall in various arrangements, giving herself the chance to see how her own work in this medium has evolved. Right now, it's, I'm in the process of documenting it, and I'm using my own work process to document this new material that I'm, I'm now engaging with. Immediately, I'm doing a new uh, work, which is an extension of the last work that I did, the Constellation series. So Constellations is an idea, uh, like I told you before, started as a, uh, as a, a constellation is a map, no? Like in ancient times, people used to follow or reach places by looking at the sky. So it started as, as an idea of a map. So this is a map. Uh, so continuing from there, this is a mapping of my own practice, like of my own um, work or, or of my own experiment with the various dyes that I'm using. I'm going to have a constellation work with using just cochineal. So it'll be different shades of pink, red, orange, purple in one composition. Nidhi makes a stamp instead of using paint when she wants to add detail to her fabric. So this is a woodcut print. It's basically a piece of wood, of uh, MDF board, which has been cut into to make the mirror image map of Mexico. And if you see, this is a print that I took off this board and it prints out like this. So this is the actual way the map of Mexico looks. But to make it, to print it in that way, we have to make a mirror image of it. This cotton has been dyed in cochineal and then the print has been taken on top of it. And then there are color accents with the help of embroidery. These dots are, they represent the cochineal, the bug. Uh, the bugs look like this. Fabric dyeing is a long, invested process, and an imperfect one. Rarely will two homemade pigments turn out the same. But for Nidhi Kurana, it is part of a larger effort to make our lives a little less synthetic. I think where we are going, we are losing a sense of where things come from. Like, like whatever I'm wearing, I have no idea where it's coming from. Like, do I know? And what I'm eating, do I know where it's coming from? Like, where is it grown? I mean, the fact that you have, so that's why I'm growing my own food on the terrace, because I want to know what I'm eating and where it's coming from, where what's going into it. So my artwork is very much related to what I do in my life and vice versa. 